Portumna Castle. Portumna Castle is a large semi-fortified Jacobean house or castle in Portumna, County Galway. Formerly, it was without equal in Ireland. Contemporary castles like Canturk, Carrickfergus, and Rathfarnham were outshone by Portumna. It was built by Richard Burke, the fourth Earl of Clanricord, in the early 17th century. Costings were in the region of 10,000, and when completed, it was unequalled for elegance and style. This was, in fact, a fortified dwelling house, emphasis on defensive features with narrow slit-like windows of the period. The building consists of three stories above basement with square corner towers. The castle has a central gallery, carved door case, and here extremely large windows. For Dominic Castle is located close to Loch Derg, where the River Shannon enters the lake. It replaced the former Burke family castle at Loch Ray and was primarily built to consolidate his claim to the medieval de Burgo Lordship of Connacht. The castle can be approached by choice of three imposing gateways. They're all matching and were designed by Sir Richard Morrison. All give extra security. The Tuscan Gate is the most ornate affair. Like most castles, Bertumna records a lovely story dedicated to a household dog. It is recorded that a small child was falling from the second floor balcony. The family dog saw what was happening, raced across and broke the child's fall, and possibly saved its life. Today, the southern side of the house includes a small circular porch, which was added in 1797 and bears an inscription to the dog. In retrospect, the first master of Portumna Castle, Richard de Virgo, the fourth Earl of Clan Rickard. He was educated in England, fought on the side of Lord Mountjoy in 1601 against the Ulster rebels. He was also involved in Kinsale. His Trojan work on the battlefield ensured his fortune and was declared a knight banneret. He engaged an architect and began work in 1611 on the house which became Port Omni Castle. Date of completion is not recorded, but its creator, Richard Burke, is believed never to have seen its completion. The castle was accidentally destroyed by fire in 1826. The family then moved to the courtyard buildings, and those were converted as temporary residence. Portumna Castle and Hubert de Bour Canning, second Marquis of Clown Rickard, figured prominently during the land wars in 1880s. The National Plan of Campaign to force landlords to reduce rents by five shillings in the pound. Hubert de Burgh demanded government protection for all his property. On rent day, November 1886, 4,000 tenants with brass bands marched to the estate office and offered their rent. The officer in charge refused to take it. The money was then handed over to the members of the Parliament for the defence of the tenants. During the 1860s, the building of another great house, or Newcastle, was begun at the western end of the domain. The Gothic-style house was started on the site of the present car park in 1862, commissioned by the 14th Earl of Clanricord. It was abandoned five years later and remained unoccupied until 1922 when it was destroyed by fire. 
A vast amount of its stone was used in the construction of the new church in Poldomna in the mid-1950s. In conclusion, today Poldomna's original castle stands bright, cheerful and modernized, following conservation and complete restoration. The castle also includes the restored 17th century walled kitchen garden. It's a must on your Portumna visit. <laughs>